Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at question 1i of the 2017 MAT exam. We are given that a, b and c are positive constants and that a does not equal 1. We are shown a very lengthy logarithmic equation and we need to find out what condition is required for this equation to have a repeated root. This question is really testing how well we know our log laws, so let's quickly revise them. We have that log of x plus log of y equals log of x times y. This is the multiplication rule. Then log of x minus log of y equals log of x divided by y which is the division rule, and also log of x to the power of n equals n times log of x, which is known as the power rule. It is also good to remember a couple of trivial cases. These are that log of 1 equals 0, and that log of b with base b equals 1. Okay, so now let's get into the question. b to the x to the power of x is the same as having b to the x squared. So we'll have log base b of b to the x squared. And c to the x over b to the x, we can factorise the power of x out. So we'll get log base a of c over b to the power of x. And 1 over b, we can rewrite this as b to the minus 1. So plus log base a of b to the minus 1 times log base a of c. And this equals 0. So now we can use our power rule. We can bring down the x squared to the front have x squared times log base b of b plus bring down the x again using the power rule plus x times log base a of c over b and same thing again use the power rule to bring down the minus 1 so we'll have minus log base a of b times log base a of c we can simplify this even further. Log of b with base b, well that's just 1, so we're going to get x squared here at the front. And we've got a division here, so we can use our division law. So we have x times log base a of c minus log base a of b. And we can't change this, so we have minus log base a of b times log base a of c, and this equals 0. Now the trick here is to spot that we can factorise this equation. Now this is going to factorise as x plus log base a of c times x minus log base a of b and this equals 0. Now we want this equation to have a repeated root. So both of these brackets have got to be equal to each other. So we need the constants inside to be equal to each other. So we're going to get log base a of c is going to equal minus log base a of b. And here we can use the power rule in reverse. So we're going to bring the minus 1 to inside the bracket. So we get log base a of c equals log base a of b to the minus 1. So now we can just use the anti-logarithm and this gets rid of both of the logarithms on both sides. So we get c equals b to the minus 1. And b to the minus 1 is the same as saying 1 over b. So our final answer is c equals 1 over b. If we go back to the question, we see that the correct solution is d. So there you have it, how to answer the question 1i.